What's up DNM crew? Today we have a very interesting video for you. We are actually going to get tested for COVID-19. It looks like you do it to yourself, so we might have to do it to each other. But for the reason why we have to go get tested for COVID-19, uh, I'm gonna let Destiny explain that. Hey guys, so like Mitch said, I will explain to you guys why we are about to go get tested for COVID-19. So basically, so we just want to go get tested to be positive that we don't have it. And the testing that we're doing is like the rapid testing. Also with the cases of COVID going up in Texas, like astronomically, we just like want to be sure and have a peace of mind. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Hopefully we'll be able to film some stuff for you guys. We're not really sure how the process goes. Your eyes look really blue. So, oh my God, you're just gonna follow me? Welcome to my crib. Just kidding. But yeah, I'm kind of nervous. Are you nervous? A little bit. Like, but not really. I mean, it, it, like I don't feel sick. I, I just want to like, you know, see if we have it so that we don't give it to anyone else and stuff. And, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah. You know. I, I don't know if it's all in my head, but I've just felt sick like in my nose and throat Like you just know mm -hmm. when you're about to get sick because you can like feel it in those two places um, Apparently nausea is part of the symptoms. I've been having nausea Apparently runny nose is part of the symptoms. Mitch has have been I always been have a runny nose too. Like you know, like runny nose. Stuff happens, you know, without COVID-19 being necessarily the case too. So like, you know, I felt nausea before, I felt the runny nose before. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like going to just be like, "Oh, we have it." But mm -hmm. it is like concerning cuz we were in in proximity to someone who was in proximity to someone who had it and yeah. that's how these things go so so we just want to be sure we just want to make sure <laughs> right because we just don't want to spread to anyone you know we're, we're probably going to be fine if we have it you know there's, there's probably not, not going to be any issues cross our fingers or whatever yeah. Uh, but yeah we don't want to give anyone else who has worse issues Exactly. So. so it really it just goes to show like how quickly this stuff spreads so yeah let's Let's go get tested for COVID. And guys, who's in the same boat? Like, I never thought that I would have to be tested for COVID-19. Like, when this was just, like, in China in early March, in February. Right, babe? Like, I just never thought that we would be tested back then. Like, we were planning trips to Colorado, to Arizona, to Minnesota. And, uh, yeah, just never. I was like, oh, that sucks for people around the world, you know, other than us. And then all of a sudden it's here. And we're getting tested. And we're getting tested. But it's just weird, you know. Yeah. You know, again, early March, we just had no idea that this was even coming to the U.S., you know. It was my birthday. We were out partying. Yep. <laughs> Not actually, yeah. but we went to Top Golf and stuff. That's right, yeah. And That's everything right. just, you like, you still thought about it, but you weren't really concerned with getting it because there were so few cases. Yeah. But now I'm like... It wasn't on your mind all the time. Like, no one was wearing masks. You know, it was just... You went out, had fun. No social distancing. Nope, none you know. of that. Man. And now it's like a complete 180. And I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm like sweating so badly. You are you? Because I'm you? nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm really nervous. But. Well, it'll be a new experience. I've never been, like, tested for something like this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, for a virus. Yeah, not even the flu. Well, I just knew I had the flu when I had the flu. Yeah. Stuff. Like, I've had pneumonia a few times and the flu, but it's like, when you have it, you have it. And you, I've never went to the hospital for the flu, mm -hmm. you know. I went for the pneumonia because, you know, a few times I've had bad experiences yeah, that, with that. Yeah, that can be really bad yeah but no the flu it's just like you stay at home and mm -hmm. eat soup and try not to throw it up you know Ugh. eat some bread yeah try to get some soda pop with you know, and stuff. soda pop i said pop. soda pop like uh the outsiders you ever seen them i don't know the outsiders i don't know you never seen it? like i don't you know like i don't know movies names mm -hmm. until I see them. If I see them and I'm like, oh, I watched this before, but I don't know it by its name. It's the greasers and the socias. And mm -hmm. like the rich kids, I guess, the greasers. 
and they had like this big know. brawl at the end and <laughs> there's a kid named Soda Pop. You know, oh, like, really? like, if you've seen the outsiders, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But beside the point <laughs> uh, We digress. Yeah, we digress. But right now we're just waiting for our masks to dry mm. because I just washed them, so we have to wait. Are these the ones that give you the results right away? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, this is the rapid testing, which we had no freaking clue about. I didn't know that existed. Yeah, me either, which is nice because, mm -hmm. you know, you want to know right away. Yeah. I would. I don't want to wait three to five days. Right? That would kill yeah. me. Oh, my God. Well, has anyone else been tested? Like, let oh, yeah. us know. You know, are you, like, were you weirded out? How did it feel? I'm so nervous. Like, my stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we will pick it up when we are driving to the testing station. All right, guys, we're about to pull in right now. Not sure how long the wait is going to be, but wish us luck. I have the worst nerves right now. I don't know. It's just those nerves you get when you're doing something for the first time that you're not sure what to expect, so. It looks like people are sitting in their cars and they come out to your car. We'll find out. All right, guys, we'll update. Um, they require a uh, appointment to be set, um, which we didn't know. We were reading online and we didn't see that part. Um, I don't even think it was online. Um, they just said, fill out this document that we filled out and come on in. Uh, they don't have any tests available for today or tomorrow. So right now we are kind of searching on uh, our phones where we can get tested if possible. Uh, a lot of places are booked up today and tomorrow. Um, they don't allow for appointment setting at any other future date. Um, we've called a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them don't have testing. Um, <clears throat> so it's a struggle to say the least. This is, this is very... This is proving to be pretty difficult. So we don't really know what to do uh, besides keep looking and uh, find a spot that we can go to eventually. Uh, it may not be today. Uh, it may not happen. I don't know. We will see what happens. So we're going to a different location. I made an appointment for four. So we'll pick up the camera again at four when we try to go to this new place. And hopefully they're not like, oh, we're not doing that. So I'm just like irritated. <laughs> We'll update you guys if anything else changes. Alrighty guys, we are here much later in the day. It's been difficult to get a COVID test, who knew? Other places that we made appointments for were running out, so only I'm getting the test today. And I'm so freaking nervous. I'm like running out of breath, I'm so freaking nervous. Did you just find out? Thank you. I'm just like psyching myself out yeah. a ton. Yeah. <sighs> But yeah, um, I don't know if I have to go in or if they're gonna come to the car. Oh, sit tight in your car. Oh, so you actually have to go in. Am I gonna have to go by myself? I think so. No. I'm sorry, my love. I doubt they let me come in with you. You ready, baby? I'm not ready. Should I? Okay, so they sent a text message and they called and left a voicemail. So okay. should I listen to the voicemail? Yeah, I listened to the voicemail. Okay. Your COVID results are in. Please call us back to obtain your result information. I don't know why my heart is like. Yep. What are you saying? <laughs> like, I'm so yep. shaky. Yep. I had a feeling they would come back today, too. Oh, I think I have to call them back. Your COVID-19 swab test for the active virus has returned a negative. This result indicates that at the time of the test, you were not infected with the COVID-19 virus. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've been feeling crappy for something else, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But, it's been, like, we've been feeling crappy for a while now. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> we should get the antibody test. The antibody test? Because people have reoccurring symptoms, you know what I mean? And we've been feeling crappy, like, mm -hmm. and sometimes it comes back later. So now we should get, we should try to get the antibody test. I think you have to wait 20 days. Okay. Well, for that test, but we can get the antibody test, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, negative for COVID. That's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, then why do I feel like crap? I know, me too. We were totally convinced that we had it because yeah. we tested positive for it. And she's been feeling crappy. I've had the worst stomach problems like I've had in a while. Like, I don't know what we could have gotten that from. I have no clue. Food poisoner? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what gives you that. Well, that's a relief, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Right about the moment the tide got high She knew that she found out